Welcome back to the channel everyone, my name is Stefan and this is the French Cooking Academy, the place where you will learn to cook like a French chef. Now if you've been here before, we are doing Lyon recipe at the moment, Lyon specialties, and it's a town in France. And today's recipe is full of history, but also has got a very odd name. In French, it's called the Cervelle de Canu. In English, it's translated the Silk Weaver's Brain. So let's find out together what is exactly that recipe. Now, when I say brain, I'm sure many of you really panicked already and said, oh my God, we're going to start eating brain now. Uh, no, it is no, there's no brains involved. It is just a cheese, a fresh cheese a recipe, uh, different types of cheese mixed together with herbs and condiments to make a delicious type of dip you can have with bread. Now, the name came about in the 19th century and it was given by uh, the silk worker in Lyon working in the Pont de la croix Rousse area. And these guys were called the canu. And it was the name of the workers. And at the silk workshop, of course, you had the canoe on one side, working class, and then you had the boss on the other side with the money. When, when the boss wanted to show off in a restaurant, he would go and order a lamb's brain, the real one. That was like the caviar at the time. But because the worker did not have uh, much money, uh, they came up with that preparation of fresh cheese and the fromage blanc en faisselle, as we call it in France, that looks a bit like cottage cheese, it's kind of brainy kind of look. And they mix it with herbs, condiments, and it became a specialty amongst the workers. And I don't know when exactly, but someone started to give the name to the delicacy as the silk weaver, the silk worker's brain, because it was the replacement of the actual delicacy, the lamb's brain. That's it for the history. Now let's start to make that recipe and learn to make the silk weaver's brain. Let's go. Now the cervelle de canu is all about freshness. Huh? We start with the cheese, uh, crème fraîche, fromage blanc faisselle, which is like uh, the cottage cheese, and a fresh goat cheese. We're gonna uh, add some flavors with a piece of fresh onion, shallots, garlic, thinly chopped, add some herbs with the chives and parsley, and then season the whole lot. And salt, pepper, vinegar, and for the oil, usually people put olive oil, but I'm gonna be using today a walnut oil from the Beaujolais region, this one, and this is a bottle I find in a, an amazing little delicatessen shop uh, that's in Lyon, I'll put the link in the video description. If you have the chance, try the product because they are really amazing. Now the first thing we're gonna do for our preparation is something is not done all the time nowadays, is to basically uh, pass our cheese here uh, into a sieve. So I'm using a uh, chinois here and this is to drain uh, our fresh cheese and as you can see already look at that you can see there's a lot of water so we're gonna press it down a little bit and you're gonna leave this in the fridge uh, for a good 10-20 uh, minutes and uh, to get rid of that extra water. Now the food prep is done I'm just about chopping all the, uh, the things. I've got half a shallot, I've got a garlic clove, fresh onion, uh, more chives than, uh, than parsley and this is the size of a tablespoon if you want to measure but there's no real measurement uh, for the servant de canu it's up to the to, to the maker and if you like more garlic more uh, herbs it's up to you to kind of judge to make your own version so none of the herbs uh, and all the flavoring areas are ready we can start the recipe now look at this the cheese is out of the fridge and i've drained it look at that and look at the juice there's not much but that less liquid in your cheese is going to make for a much firmer thing. You see, this is kind of the brainish look. You could, uh, interesting. I love these assembly things. All right, so step number one, once the cheese is drained, you start by adding all that fromage blanc or cottage cheese, whatever you're going to be using. Next, it says that you need to really uh, mix that thing very well. And apparently when you're doing it with a spoon, it makes this sound like a clacking sound, a, a flapping sound. And it's also called the claqueret in an other region of France. Huh? So it has to be really well kind of mixed, apparently, to really kind of beat it. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of that fresh uh, goat cheese. So maybe one a small tablespoon. And then again, mix the whole lot very well. To add some creaminess, I'm going to use that beautiful creme fraiche. And again, mix the whole up. Now that we're done with the cheese base, uh, we're going to add some salt and pepper. Uh, so a good amount and we'll taste later. A bit more salt in there. Okay. Followed by, I think, a very small tablespoon of red wine vinegar. You can use white wine vinegar. I'm going to mix my base here. When that's done, 
and we're gonna taste. I would add a bit more salt and a bit more pepper. And I'm now gonna switch into a spoon and add this beautiful uh, walnut oil. So a little bit at a time and then gently incorporate it. So we don't want too much nor too little, we just want to give that edge, that walnutty edge before we add the herbs in. Mmm, this really this aromas of walnuts, absolutely I love it. So here's the time basically to add all the herbs. Huh? So some bits of garlic, the onions, shallots, and here I've got some chives and some parsley. So again, it's up to you, huh? but it has to be heavy on herbs huh? that, that mix. So don't be shy with mixing uh, herbs. You see, it's a fresh cheese, hence the name. Huh? And it's fun to make, honestly, this kind of cheese like that. It's light, it's fresh, it smells great. It goes, it's a nice little dip. Okay, so we've got our base mix. Look at this, this is the consistency you want. Huh? It's not liquid, it's nice and stiff. It's light, a bit like a, a very lightly whipped cream. Uh, and the last step consists of leaving these mix to infuse in the fridge for 30 minutes up to an hour and to allow for the parsley, the chives, the goat cheese to really go everywhere in the cheese and let the flavor uh, you know, do their job. Huh? So when we're going to eat it, it's going to be nice and flavorsome. So I'm going to grill some toast, leave this to rest and then we're going to serve. And here we are, it's been more than 30 minutes and the uh, Silk Weaver's Brain cheese dip is uh, ready and it's all here so to serve it's really a, you know it was a working class type of this so you don't need anything fancy and it's just uh, I'm gonna use a spoon and it's just a generous portion mm. serve on a piece of bread and you can add your own twist you can add extra um, pepper extra cheese in there and you can go fancy maybe uh, add some orange zest or lemon or whatever or fancy herbs and for me I just like a little bit of pepper and that's it when you get this, have a bite. Huh? Bon appétit. Mmm, it's actually very, very light. Really, the herbs in the background, and it's all mixed well, it's all well balanced, and I like that this lightness, a bit like a whipped cream, and it's the very, the freshness I, I like of the herbs as well. So you can see really it's been made freshly, you know, of the bath. And that's it, folks. This is the end of the video where we've learned about the canoe history and the uh, silk weaver's brain cheese dip and uh, quite fascinating a beautiful little dip you can make at home and as always if you have your own recipe uh, share that in the uh, comment section if you have any question any concern do the same as well don't for forget to follow me on instagram hashtag french cooking academy and if you want to support the channel as always you can become a new patron on my patreon page and thanks a lot by the way to all the new patreon supporters that have been uh, very very uh, generous it's really a great help especially now that i'm in france so really appreciate it as for me i leave you with this beautiful dip and i'll see you all for the next recipe on the french cooking academy take care all bye bye